So Sonal, in the previous video, we talked about networking, which I believe it's very essential in finding jobs. The next part I feel that what's important is to have a good optimized LinkedIn, meaning having a headline, a banner, about section and connection. But again, still for some people, they don't know what to put or they're new graduate or they're new immigrants. I don't know what I can add or I don't know what to put in my uh, headline or in banner. In your expertise, when recruiters check a resume, do they go directly to LinkedIn and kind of research the person? And if there's an impression of this is a good person or not, or there's no picture, what decision that happen when they check a LinkedIn account? Yeah, um, for sure. I think that um, I don't think people have time, recruiters have time to see every single LinkedIn profile. Mm -hmm. But what I have done in my time in recruiting is people who would be sliding past to the interview stage, yeah. um, especially the more serious things progress, mm -hmm. people will read everything. Mm -hmm. on people want to read what you've shared um, and an incomplete profile or a very skeletal profile with the bare minimum. Just put yourself in the shoes of the person who's a recruiter, right? They can see two in front. It's like two doors. Yeah. The first one is that skeleton incomplete profile. The second one, pe smiling face, yeah. good lighting in front of them. Yeah. Very clear what they do. With, because those keywords, I feel as a recruiter, when I read those words, mm -hmm. sales and marketing and business development, that's exactly what I need. Mm -hmm. Ooh, interesting. This person knows my language. The background banner reinforces. Background banner is a little bit more... Um, cosmetic, in my opinion, because mm -hmm. those who use the product LinkedIn Recruiter, which is how LinkedIn makes money yeah. by you know, charging recruiters to use this, and they have access to first degree, second degree, third degree, sixth degree connections. Wow! Inside LinkedIn Recruiter, you don't see the banner, but you oh. do see um, a, a very complete profile. You see first name, last name. Hello, you're not Meher M. You know, yeah. I'm not Sonal B, but many people don't know that. Yeah, I've seen and that. it's only yeah. visible to the first degree. Uh, sorry, to yeah, to the first degree. My picture is only visible to my first degree connection. So you need to kind of check that, those basics. You can check so much. You can check online. There are a lot of free resources to help mm. you do that. Um, but a much more attractive LinkedIn profile makes the decision mm -hmm. to move to the next stage and the next stage and then the offer stage. I'm not going to say it, it is the only thing. Yeah, it's just one of the factors yeah. that makes it easier mm -hmm. for the committee, hiring manager, recruiter, maybe the VP, maybe the comp and band person. It just makes it easier for that group of people, the committee, to say, "This is the guy. This is the girl. We want her." And do you think that after applying online, is it okay to the job seeker to reach out to the? Hiring manager or to recruiter, hey, Sona, I applied to your role. I'm looking forward to hear from you, or this is what I can bring to the table. These, I know that recruiters and hiring managers are bombarded maybe with these messages, but does it add anything or it all depends on the person receiving the message? I think if you had asked me this in 2018 or 2019, I would say always reach out to the recruiters. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if we are going to be coaching, we also have to be learning and evolve our learning. And my learning has evolved over time mm -hmm. where I no longer tell my clients to do that because I have friends who are recruiters and I see the pushback online as well mm -hmm. from them saying, hey, this role that was just fine. released. I'm never going to put the name that I am the recruiter for this role because I'm bombarded. Mm -hmm. And it's so hard to distinguish in these messages who is relevant, who is not relevant because it's yeah. just copy-paste AI, all of that yeah. stuff. I think that... Um, it is instead, because everyone does that. Sometimes when you, you know, when people zig, you zag. Yeah. One thing you can do is find out inside your circle of friends, acquaintances, network, whatever you want to call this, this bunch of people inside, if someone can make an introduction. Yeah. yeah. Now, it would help you. Now, referrals, right? This is called referrals. Yeah. All referrals are not created equal. Some yeah. are stronger than others. Yes. So it would help the closer they are to the person who is a decision maker. Mm -hmm. But it's a little bit of a gamble, no? Yeah. How do you know? Yeah. You know, that friend could be a middle manager. So, you know, very far away from SVP or seniors. Mm -hmm. 
but it doesn't matter mm-hmm. because at the end of the day if the people who refer you have a good reputation inside their company they are actually super interested to see you succeed because they look good yes for sure secondly the company looks and says oh meher referred sonal inside the company but meher is our top performer so if meher referred sonal she must be excellent mhm do you know all of this stuff when you're outside looking inside like through the glass you don't you don't so yeah. you got to shoot your shot yeah. multiple times but it's better to do it like this than it is to blindly write to lots mm-hmm. of recruiters but yes at the same time the referral is also a little bit blind and it's a bit of a cold call so it is easier if yeah. you can get an introduction and avoid sending too many cold messages yeah Uh, my first HR role was through networking. I knew someone who knew someone. They were hiring, and then they just put a good reference for me, and then I applied, and the rest was on me. I also tell clients or the students I'm helping is that engage with the content of the company you're applying, and add a very strategic and value added uh, comment. Just to have an engagement with that, because sometimes I also heard from other people that I've interviewed that. uh the marketing manager was checking that this person is commenting and everything and they reach out to this person like why you're commenting why you you know you're so good and then he said i like this company and then they hired him right yeah. so those are great tips so now thank you very much again for the audience if you have any other tips leave them below so tune in next time for another great question with sonal